Welcome to another episode of Arts Aroma, where I do fragrance reviews, where I have you looking good, feeling good, smelling good, where we are too clean, too mean, Arts Aroma is a dopamine. Today's episode is special because we will be reviewing Dior Sauvage Parfum versus Creed Aventus. Two bangers in the game today. We're going to tell you which one is better. I also got a little surprise for you. I got a special guest, one of my close friends, coming in to give a review and see what she thinks. Her point of view versus mine. Who's the winner? Before we get there, though, I want to give you all a few details about each fragrance and my experiences with them. So first up, we have Dior Sauvage Parfume. I wrote down some notes. So some of the top notes in it are bergamot, mandarin orange. That's kind of giving you the smell as soon as you spray it, what it's going to give you on first contact with your skin. The middle notes is sandalwood, and the base notes has some tonka bean and vanilla. And these are kind of the smells, and once it settles in onto your skin, what it's going to last and how it's going to project throughout the day. Some of the top notes for Creed Aventus contain pineapple, bergamot, and apple. So let's get to the meat and potatoes, what everyone wants to know. We all want to know, and we all adore, the compliment factor. Which one wins based off of compliments? I'm going to let you know what it is for me. I give the slight edge to Dior Sauvage Parfum as far as compliment factor, mostly because I believe it's more wearable year round. It's a crowd favorite, and if I'm able to wear it more, obviously, I'm getting more compliments rolling in. Now let's take a look at performance. Which one of these perform better? A few hours after wear, what are you still getting compliments on? I'm giving the edge to Creed Aventus as far as performance. There's been times where six, seven hours later after putting this on my skin, I still have compliments rolling in. And to me, you just can't beat it. Now, let's take a look at the price point of each of these fragrances. Which one are you getting the best bang for your buck? For the Dior Sauvage, this is the two fluid ounce and the price point for this smaller bottle is right at $100. This is Creed Aventus and is 1.7 fluid ounces and the price point for it is $230. So I've given you all the top, middle, and base notes. I've given you the compliment factor, how the fragrances perform, and I've also given you the price point. Now let's see what's the winner based off smell. It's time to bring in our special guest. Today, we got a very special friend of mine, Miss Blue Bolton. And she's gonna blind smell and tell us what's the winner of the fragrances we just talked about. So first, Blue, I wanna ask you, how important is a man's smell, his fragrance to you? It's very important. Um, it is like the signature thing when it comes to a man. When you look good, you smell good, and that just attracts like the it factor exactly. or like tying in a woman like it really gets the woman to like look at you and to really figure out like is she going to approach you carry on a conversation with you you know really just go in depth on getting to know the individual based off of the scent really i feel it all right blue so i'm gonna get you to close your eyes i'm gonna bring out the first fragrance and tell me what you think okay all right make sure they shut Alright. Open. Mm. That's what it makes you want to do. It makes you want to mm. What do you mean by that? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the first one. Okay. Alright, Blue, so you ready for the second fragrance? Mm -hmm. You know what to do. Close your eyes and let's get it. What is it giving you? What should I say? What is it giving? Mm, it's giving grown. Okay. Sexy. Mm -hmm. Sophisticated. It's giving arts aroma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I was that have to choose. Between I, the two, which one is the winner? If I was gonna choose, I would mm -hmm. definitely choose the second one. Um, okay. You wanna know why? Why? So the first one smells like a, it smells familiar. Like okay. a Every man in Atlanta smells like that. It's definitely a crowd favorite. You're right there. Okay. It smells familiar. Um, the second one smells more like sophisticated. 
has more like warm undertone like notes in there uh, the first one it smelled a little bit sweet had like almost like a unisex smell to it, it smells like an everyday look but the second one smelled like a man that will wear wearing a suit um and that's the type of look or type of man that i am interested in so the smell comes with the look too so that's why i chose the second one over the first one got it you got it so the first fragrance i had you smell was none other than dior Savage. So it made sense when you said that it smells like everyone has this because that's the truth. It's still a beast of a fragrance, but don't wear this and expect to smell different than everyone else. But it was still good. I like the reaction you gave it. Mm -hmm. The second one, which was your winner, was Creed Aventus. The one you said was smart, sexy, was given something where a man would wear a suit. So this is your overall winner and what you were looking for is the Creed Aventus, right? For sure. And there you have it. Creed Events is based off a of smell, based off of Blue Bolton. And me, I give mine to Creed Events as well, is the winner as far as smell. Blue, we want to thank you for coming on to the show and giving us your take on what was the better fragrance. And fellas, hopefully this gave you a little insight on which one of these smells better from a woman's point of view. Now, Blue, <laughs> Blue, tell us a little bit about what you do and we can follow you right. So, like he said, my name is Blue Bolton. Um, I am a model, a makeup artist, a licensed cosmetologist, a barber as well, and just multifaceted. You can find me on Instagram on Blue's Beauty Bar, and that's Blue without the E, Beauty Bar. And then my personal page is Blue dot Bolton, B O L T O N. All right, that's where you can find her at. We want to thank y'all for tuning in again to Arts Aroma with Too Clean, Too Mean. Arts Aroma is a dopamine.